The race for the White House now. It's your voice, your vote, which is 22 days to go. And a brand new ABC News Washington Post poll shows just how high the stakes will be when President Obama and Mitt Romney face off in their second debate tomorrow night. ABC's Jake Tapper is here with the latest. And Jake, even though the top line in that poll has barely budged, it does show that Mitt Romney helped himself in that debate. Absolutely, George. Uh, the new poll shows the presidential race remains tight. Obama is edging Romney by three percentage points, but that is within the margin of error. And other polls have Romney up. Plus, his supporters, for the first time ever, are more excited than Obama's. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. 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 I brought some food. With the exception of a brief visit to hand out pizzas to campaign volunteers, the president spent most of the weekend in Williamsburg, Virginia, preparing for Tuesday night's high-stakes debate, where Democrats say he will be more assertive. How is the debate prep going, sir? The, uh, it is going great. Pundits are saying it had better be going great. If Obama has one more debate as bad as his first debate, I think he will be in enormous trouble. My advice to the President Obama would be let him let him be the senator and the candidate he was in 2008. He'll do beautifully. Perhaps because of his strong debate performance. Mr. President, you're entitled as a president to your own airplane and to your own house, but not to your own facts. Strong enthusiasm for Mitt Romney among his supporters is up dramatically. 59% now, up from 26% five months ago. Romney now also numerically leads the president in strong supporter enthusiasm, while Obama supporters are experiencing more anxiety than those in the Romney camp. Both firsts this season, and not good ones for the president. One silver lining for Mr. Obama, the percentage of registered voters who say the country is on the wrong track is now at its lowest level in nearly three years. Although another new poll from Politico George Washington University now has Romney up 50% to 48% across 10 battleground states. And as the nation looks forward to the next debate, Saturday Night Live had some fun with the last one with the vice presidential candidates. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, Martha. I'm Mar Martha, but with all due respect, this is a bunch of malarkey. All right? <laughs> this is malarkey. A bunch of malarkey? Yeah. What does that mean? Uh, it's Irish. Ah. No, no, no. Irish is I come over there and smack that dumb look off your face. <laughs> Hey! Do I sound like Jim Lehrer? <laughs> On the lighter side of our poll, we asked voters to look at some attributes in a different way. Who would you rather have as captain of a ship in a storm? That would suggest skill under duress. Obama was up 12 points on that a few weeks ago, but now he's up just four. But, George, he is up on who would you like to babysit your kids? Perhaps that's because his debate performance was so soothing. I guess that is one word for it, okay. But what kind of adjustments are they making in the president's debate prep? Because they know he has to bring a different game tomorrow night. Well, it's a fine line, as you know. He needs to be more aggressive, but he doesn't want to risk alienating people uh, by seeming too negative and, and too much on the attack. Uh, they're doing intense debate prep. Anita Dunn, the former communications director, is playing the role of moderator Candy Crowley, and uh, they are preparing uh, some lines of attack. Okay, Jay Capper, thanks very much. And Diane Sawyer and I are going to have live coverage of the second presidential debate tomorrow at 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific, right here on ABC.